At the equivalence point, you've added the same number of moles of your strong base as you had weak acid. So you've converted all of your weak acid to its conjugate base. So the pH should be greater than 7. Now you, all you have is conjugate base. That's basic. pH should be greater than 7. So the, uh, when you are doing this titration, you have your weak acid and your strong base. You're going to be forming a salt here. And a salt problem, you can tell me about, about salts. And so just remind me, what does the Na plus contribute to, uh, to, the, to the pH here? It's going to be neutral. And what about this guy down here? Yeah, so it's going to be basic. So the so sodium, anything group one, group two, uh, no effect on pH, they're neutral. But if you have a conjugate base of a weak acid, that's going to be, that's going to be basic. Salt problems, really uh, just, just part of what you already know about. So always check your work. If your pH is, doesn't make sense from what you know, you might have made a math mistake. So let's calculate the actual pH at the equivalence point. We know that it should be basic, but what is it going to be? So first we need to know how much of the strong base we had to add, because we, uh, we, we need to know about all the moles. So how much of this did we need to add? So we needed to add enough of the strong base that you converted all of the moles of the weak acid to its conjugate. Uh, so we had 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of our weak acid. So that's all going to be converted to the moles um, of the conjugate base. And so that's going to be equal to the number of moles we needed to do it. So we needed 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of our strong base to do that complete conversion. We know the concentration of the base was 0.15. So we would have needed 1.67 times 10 to the minus 2 uh, liters of this concentration added to reach the equivalence point. So then the total volume that we're going to have at the equivalence point is the 25 mils that we had to begin with, plus uh, this 16.7 uh, uh, mils uh, to make this final total volume. And, and remember, you always need to think, what is the total volume? How much has been added to get to this point in the titration curve? Then we ca can calculate the molarity. So we know how many moles of the conjugate base have been formed, and we know the new volume. So we can calculate the concentration of, of the conjugate base. So uh, now you can help me solve this problem. Uh, set up an equation for me to solve it. So again, think about what type of problem it is. So again, weak base in water problem, x squared over 0 0.06 minus x. And we can assume that x is uh, small and calculate a value uh, for x, which is 0.83 times 10 to the minus 6. And then we're going to calculate pOH, because now x is the hydroxide ion concentration. Because in a weak base in water problem, here, uh, in, in, this, in this type of problem, the base, and here is your acid. The conjugate of this acid is the base hydroxide, and the conjugate of this uh, weak base is its conjugate acid over here. So now, we are, when we're solving for x, we're solving for hydroxide ion concentration. So we're calculating a pOH, which then we can calculate a pH from. So we can take 14 minus 5.74 and get our value. And it's a bigger than neutral. It's 8. It's basic. And that makes sense. It is a weak base in water problem. So see, it's 8.26. So now we're up here in our curve. And we're at 8.26. And uh, it's, that's going to be greater than 7 for this type of uh, problem. 